Hey everybody, this is Rhino. It is the new expansion time for the Hearthstone, Knights of the Frozen Throne. And so we're doing deck rebuilds. Last time we rebuilt the Warlock decks pretty poorly, honestly. But moving forward, we only have the Warrior decks to do. So right now I have an Enraged deck designed around playing Enraged cards. I don't think I saw any enraged cards in Knights of the Frozen Throne. The the only thing I've really even added to the enrage uh, deck was King Mosh from Journey to Unguru. Everything else seems to be pretty much just classic, classic uh, cards. And that's a standard deck, and if we can keep it standard that would be nice. And then the other thing we have for Warrior was a weapons deck that I may have deleted. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did. So that leaves me pretty open. There's two spots on this uh, right now that are open. No, there's only one. Hmm. Did I... Hmm. I must have made something. Well, if I need to get rid of this Warlock deck, I can make another free spot. Otherwise, there's only one spot. So, let's start... Just blank. On... Warrior. That's who we're playing as, yes. And start here. Apparently I could make the new paint, no pain, no gain recipe, and maybe that's what I should do is just, you know what, just listen to Hearthstone themselves instead of trying to make their own cards. Let's see what it is. Um, deal a bunch of damage, enrage, draw cards, enrage, brawl, rot face is a major factor that I'm missing. Uh, and the hero replacement, which we should definitely play as. In fact, odd, I don't think I've played all the hero replacement cards that I got. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. We'll have to go back and do some final checking. These decks are far, are far from what they'll eventually be. I'm, I'm, planning on tweaking them and working on them and taking suggestions a lot more and working towards getting up in ranked play a lot more. So let's go into crafting mode and see what we could have had. After you play a minion, deal one damage to it. Uh, easy enough for an enrage deck. Gain 10 armor, reduce the cost of this minion uh, of minions in your opponent's hand by two. Hmm, bring it on. Probably not a terrible card to play at the second turn. Hmm. Shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. Probably not worth playing. Draw two weapons from your deck. Worth it if you're going to make a weapons deck, which I think I might. If, your opponent's, if it's your opponent's turn, gain six armor when this dies. Nice. Uh... Whenever there survives damage, summon a 1 2 cool. Nice. Um, Battle Cry and Death Rattle deal 1 damage to all minions. Nice. Gain plus 1 plus 1 for each damage minion. Nice. Oh, they have really given us what we need. Sad I don't have Rot Face. And then equip a 4 3 Shadow Morn that also damages adjacent minions. And Bloodstorm does 1 damage to all minions. So that's definitely an enraged deck before we even start. Hmm. Two of these, two of these, two of these. Probably want to play this, and probably want to play this. And I suppose we can type in the word enrage. Which apparently I either misspelled 
or hmm. Am I just misspelling the word enrage? No, I'm not misspelling it. It's just not cooperating very well. Probably, I might even be able to play that card. Interesting. What am I missing as far as enrage? This one would be nice to have and that's kind of it. So that gets me to 25 uh, right now. As far as armor, uh, there's, I don't believe any armor special cards. Do one damage to a minion for each armor you have. Shield slam is probably worth having. Gaining five armor. Draw a card. Hmm. Can we go with a Reno Jackson setup? Is the question. Hmm. Or in general, just a way of slowing down the gameplay. Hmm. I I need to get rid of several more things if that's what we're going for. Right now, if we were to convert this to standard, I would have to get rid of four things, so I'm not going to deal with that. Um, let's see. Brawl. Throw that in there, why not? And if we're going to throw Brawl in there, there's a card that always wins Brawl. Hmm. I guess I don't remember what that card is, though. It must not be a warrior card. Uh, let's see. Damage would be the next thing. King Mosh, totally worth. Hmm. Deal one damage to your own minions. Hmm. Death Spite. that in there hmm. deal three damage to all damaged minions deal damage if it survives draw a card hmm so how, w how would we go? There's no reason to get rid of these things though. Because I still want to play Reno. I still want to play Prince Malkazar. We just need to decide what things. If you have at least 10 attack. Uh, we can get rid of that. That's not going to work. Deal 1 damage. Your weapon has plus 2 attack. Gain 4 armor. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's get rid of this one. And then let's type in Reno. And then Prince. Do we have any duplicates? Not really. And this is only slightly different than the Enraged deck I already made. But, well, no, it's not slightly different, actually. It's very, very different. And that's the reason why I would like to, wanted to start. Start over. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Brawl and I'm gonna go with the King. Which, how many Kings do we have? Now, Lich King is who I was talking about. And this won't help. And this will oh, help. King's Defender. Protect the King. Attacking when he costs attack. King Mosh. Hmm. I still feel like there's things I'm missing. Though, like inner rage, why don't I have one of those? After you play a minion, deal. I do have that. Deal one damage if it's five, seven, and one, two. Slime. Hmm. Give a friendly minion charge. Double dealt damage dealt to your hero. Taunt. Gain five in the armor. Equip. Hook. Upgrade. Whirlwind. Hmm. Probably should get rid of this game five armor since that doesn't doesn't really synchronize with synergize with things. Draw a card for each damage friendly minion. Hmm. want to execute somewhere in this don't I yeah that would be better than shield slam and while you could make a weapon and you could make a taunt deck hmm I don't think there's a daily quest to play taunt so that's either gonna be a joke deck only there to irritate people or uh, Hmm. And then the weapons deck isn't really a ranked winning deck, and that's what I'm trying to do here, is I'm trying to, to have a Frothing Berserker. Yes, I do. Um, I'm trying to make decks that will actually win ranked play. If it's not a deck that will win ranked play, then... It should just be a temporary deck I make to make daily quests done. Get done. So, because of that, this custom warrior is wild. Converting it to standard could be done. Uh, probably, but it would get rid of Axe Flinger, which I don't like, and Reno Jackson, which would really destroy 
the whole point of Gotta be careful how this whole system works. So, in, in comparison to this, I've gotten rid of this and, and made something different. So this can go away. Even though it is a standard deck. So we're getting rid of one standard. And... Like... As a joke, I suppose we could make a warrior weapon deck real quick. And it won't be that that difficult. W E W E A P O N. And it's pretty much just this. Anything with the weapon in the name gets thrown in here. Hmm. There are no neutral weapons. So... So there's not a lot of reason Let's find... Make weapons a little bit cheaper. Discard all your weapons from your hands and gain your stats. That's not a terrible card, actually. Um, maybe equip an enemy weapon. Gain stats equal to your weapons. Hmm. Hmm. Not much you can really do here, but there are more cards than I would have thought. Let's see, upgrade is not one we need. Hmm. Instead, take one more minion that equips a weapon right as it's happening. Ideally, I'd like to be able to play this taunt character. Let's see if there's anything that would make sense to have that. Ideally, I would want two of these, but that's a pretty crazy weapon. Let's go ahead and name that to just call it weapons what would it be to convert this to standard uh not really too much and get rid of a about seven weapons and i think you could probably probably do it not too bad just get rid of Curse Blade, which isn't, isn't a terrible idea. And then instead take this and get rid of this, which is not a terrible idea. And instead play this, which will allow you to stay alive a little bit longer. 
get rid of death spite instead maybe buff and get rid of that one and have two of those in your deck I didn't realize I had two so that's not a painful exchange whereas switching this to wild uh, to standard would probably be, still be doable but, but it would take more effort and it, and it would destroy the Reno the, I already said that so this one is enrage armor now there is to my knowledge I didn't spell that right at all uh, no daily quest about taking damage to minions and no daily quest about gaining armor so both uh both of these are ideally things that would win i don't know how that weapons deck would do that but we'll see let's try it um but ideally enrage would work there are definitely daily quests for all nine of the hero types, and I am not 100% certain that I have all nine of the hero types set up so that there's at least something that could guarantee a victory. That being said, I do have fans that will play me and let me win. Thank you for them, and because of that, they there is... Uh, there it's become a lot easier to get daily quests done hmm. the I command. See, this one no, trust me and this one so first turn you play something like this not too bad and I'm glad they changed it so you that can play friends and and get the daily quest done. It used to cost it used to take forever. Like really, really long amount of time just to get daily quest done. Now I can freely do an arena run and play with fans and get the daily quest done and and stream for only about five hours, which is a lot longer than than I would like to, but not that much longer than I probably was averaging anyways. Hmm. Let's see. Do we save this? Hmm. I think we're just going to save this and let's see. Next turn we'll be fourth and we could see what happens. Hmm. Honestly, this should probably be played later in the game after you can play some attacks. This is going to be surprising to him. This is actually going to be amazing. Discard all weapons from your hands and gain their stats. 7 1 plus 3 4, so that's 10 5. Plus three two. Twenty one fifteen. It's like game over. Game over on the fifth turn. Figure out the way. So he used Toxic Arrow to take out this guy. This guy hasn't gotten a plus one, plus one at all. At the end of your turn, transform this. Let's see, this. And then this. And end the turn. That is, I suppose, 
a dangerous but capable of winning strategy. I guess in general though, if you want to win, you don't have only one character. Let's see. And this one does the zombies. So I'd like to see what the zombies do. Co craft a custom zombies. The, he picks one of three things, and then he picks one of three things again. So there's two picks, and it goes in his hand. It doesn't summon immediately. Interesting. Can I do this whenever your weapon is destroyed? Wind Fury Overload 2. Having two of these in your your deck is probably not worth it though because it requires you now to not play any of the weapons which might make sense if we make it to the 15th or 20th turn and I'm just holding on to weapons because I can't play them fast enough. Hmm. This, this, this guy is annoying, so I'm going to squelch him. Could just play this, and it would still be a 6 mana 6 attack, 6 health, which is still not that bad. Are you not going to show me what the zombies look like, though, before I lose? I'm actually a little bit happier with this deck than I thought it would. It would be. It's, it's still mostly just a daily quest uh, achiever. And so I've got two very powerful things, but I've lost. I think I lost fair and square though. And I think sometimes, <laughs> on a rare occasion, Side let's see. No. Death Rat will summon the number Trust of 1-1 one, one rats equal to it. This is a zombie beast. It's a beast character. It Perfect. And rat pack. Hmm. It has been stitched together. But I'll cry deal one damage to all minions. Hmm. I sail the slimy deeps. Go ahead and end the turn and let them win. So zombies are two beasts patched together. Two beast abilities patched together. Interesting. Or at least it seems like it's a collection of that. Of beast abilities. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it is certainly a little crazy. 
It's it's a shame they didn't give everybody this hero replacement card. It's a shame they didn't give everybody all the hero replacement cards. Uh, I'm really saying the exact same thing I was saying about the quest cards last time. Is he gonna take the victory? Now we have rats. Battle cry adapt. Poisonous. And. What's this one? Taunt, poisonous, battle cry, adapt a friendly beast. Hmm. And this can get really crazy. Hmm. Well, I don't have time to watch him play with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and concede. They've updated the concede button so it's nice and red so you know when you're about to click it. And it probably also implies something like you're playing on ranked play. Striding Rage deck. This is the one that probably has a better chance of winning. I didn't think the weapons had any chance when I first started playing, but after playing it, you know, maybe... 25% of the time, maybe 30% of the time, maybe even a little bit more than that, you might win. You might get very, very lucky and win. But there's definitely a lot more strategy on this. We don't need that one, for sure. We also don't need that one. So play on the first turn to get the advantage? I don't think you do. I think you probably should just end your turn. Let let the opponent go first. And now you play this. It's time for a little blood. And now we end the turn. And see, he does a hex, which tells me I was right to wait. If this guy dies on your opponent's turn, I gain six armor, which is almost certainly going to happen. Like I don't, I don't see how you not succeed in that. Deal one damage to all other minions. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then this. And then this. And then return. Hmm. Go ahead and play that. Go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and attack with that. Looks like we're doing pretty decent strategy. We have five cards here, two minions here, two minions here, three cards here. And his legendary Murloc there. Uh, just really failed to do anything interesting. Start running. I could kill this guy. 
and keep mine alive, which probably is oh, worth no, it. Indeed. So, no six armor for me, but whatever. And see, even if they kill this guy, it's not like he really matters. I can power up the next guy. Whenever we gain armor, give us one attack. And let's see. Back to work! Hmm. I probably should have played this and then used this on this. There's no reason to have damaged this guy again. Do you hear it's he gains attack when you gain armor. Uh, I haven't gained any armor. This, this. And we've got a victory. So color me satisfied with that new deck. Uh, there's some strategies we certainly didn't play in the new Enrage Armor deck, but I think they're going to work. The, the Reno Jackson on top of gaining armor is going to really destroy people. The Enrage is is going to help. It would be nice if we could have played this, this hero replacement card. But I'll just have to give it more experience. So the one thing left to do is I just want to double check on the Frozen uh, Throne to see if there wasn't a hero replacement that I didn't play. This I did not play in either of my druid cards. Why did I not do that? This is Reno Jackson. It there it is in my druid card. Okay. So would it be helpful in the druid helper deck? Hmm. This one is also in this deck. I, it's just been so long since I've made the Druid deck I haven't even thought. Um, is there anything in this, in the Frozen Throne that would have even helped? Deal 5 damage, draw 5 cards, no. Hmm. No, nope. so we don't need to change our druid helper deck, which is for helping people. So we're good on druid. We didn't get the hero replacement for hunter. We didn't get the hero replacement for mage. We got this legendary, but we didn't get the hero replacement for paladin. Um, we didn't get it for Priest. We only got two of them, didn't we? We didn't get it for Rogue. But we didn't get it for Shaman. And we didn't get it for Warlock. So... So it really was just Warrior and Warrior. And maybe I should throw this in here. Hmm. Why not? Just for fun. We'll throw it in there just just because. Hmm. Now, as far as opening 50 card packs plus of the expansion of the Knights of the Frozen Throne, we did a decent collection of cards. I don't think if I had opened another 50 
I would have gotten everything. Uh, somebody on chat said that Journey to Own Guru was like 423 packs were needed to be open to get everything. There's a lot of legendaries still missing. There's a lot of epics. I think we mostly have all of the rares and uh, commons. So, yeah. Over throughout, over the time until the next expansion, which I imagine will be another card expansion, because I don't think they're doing any solo expansions at all, ever again. Uh, we'll open packs. Arena runs, I believe, are supposed to be giving us these packs now. Uh, there's, besides legendary cards, there's not really a ton of things that I would want. Uh, I don't feel like I really missed out on things. The Lich King will be interesting to play, but I imagine that over time I'll eventually sneak him out of all of the decks. I don't think he's as good as... Uh, he might be set to. And we managed to use all of our uh, all of our space which kinda sucks but uh, I was hoping to have one space open for when we had a daily quest to accomplish something but that's simply just not gonna be the case. We did however succeed I think in having a lot more standard decks. Uh, when I first started, there was either four or five standard decks. We've now expanded this to eight standard decks and ten wild decks. Much, much more balanced. Uh, so I think we've done a good job there. And the last thing I need to do is open up the card packs in the uh, European and Asian markets. So uh, that's what I'll do in the next recording, and we'll just see where we are on those collections as a small little extra video. Stay tuned if you're watching live. Otherwise, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.